Hey guys, welcome back to Conan Exiles, and I have some exciting news. It's very exciting. Look at that. I'm so excited. I can barely contain myself. Look at that. <laughs> it's crazy. The Club Avengers has finally been formed. Yes, my dreams have come into fruition. The first Club Avengers joined, and his name... His name is Haven Eye. His na real name is Haven, but uh, instead of Hawkeye, his name is now Haven Eye. And very exciting. He's actually helped me out quite a bit. He's given me some stuff, which I appreciate. Not necessary, obviously, to join the team. And a lot of the stuff I need to unlock to level up anyway. So I just want to touch on uh, this neighbor here. Uh, he's been my neighbor in the past. And I think this time, it's a great thing that I have this cliffside between us. Because he just gets ridiculous with those bills. Look at that. Beef, just he just goes crazy with the bills. He has those massive bills. Or he just gets completely lost with where he's just put stuff because his places are just so massive. So I'm just glad I have <laughs> I put this cliffside between us because I just don't want to deal with it because he's gonna just get crazy with his builds and probably put a, a like a wall between him and his neighbors around his place. It just gets ridiculous. So you know what? I don't, I don't know who really who really wants to be a neighbor to that. You know, not this guy, not this guy, not anymore. So yeah, that's all I have to say about that. And a tip to get rid of. That heads up display tips on the right hand side. I know a few people have been asking me. Right here in settings and gameplay, I just enabled journey steps just so I can see maybe this would help aid in me uh, leveling up quicker. So I turn it back on, but I'm just going to turn it off now as well so you can see. Apply and boom, it's gone. It's fantastic. You know what? Before I get to anything else, it's time to take back some vengeance. Now, what I didn't realize at the time in the previous episode, in the first episode really, it has been a while before I've been able to get back on this and post another video. But uh, yeah, that was a shaleback king that I was fighting and I didn't even realize a little horn on his head and he is quite a bit larger than the other regular shaleback uh, turtle guys. So this king shaleback or king koopa or king kappa or whatever the heck his name is. Is going to get some punishment. Now I could use the weapons that Haven gave me, but it would make me a bit overpowered. So what I'm going to do is use this extra large stone sword. And at least this way it'll be a little bit more fair. I do like the size of these swords now. They look freaking awesome. So let's do this. <laughs> it's a piece of cake, come on. Alright, where is this guy? Before this uh, thing with four legs and, uh, and horns. Um... Gazelle? No. Ah, whatever. Bye! That was surprisingly easy. And let's see, what's next? Where's the shellback king? Come on. Come on, King Koopa. Come on, come here. Yeah, you're going to say you want to go next to your friends. Let me see, how much larger is he compared to the regular turtle? Yeah, he is quite a bit larger. I didn't notice that at first. Yeah, see that? Side by side. He is quite a bit larger. I have some unfinished business before I use my overpowered, superpowered weapons. Okay, come on, buddy. Okay, that was just a practice. And he's not even interested in me. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I shouldn't even bother. Wow, they really just don't seem interested anymore. I, I know these guys are made docile now, but that... Shellback King was not very docile when I met him the first. Look at this! This must be with the new update. Okay, there was recently a new update just today with a bunch of bug fixes. <laughs> bug? Bug fixes. And I guess this is one of them. I guess now we don't even have to really fight. I, I don't, this is awkward now. I just, like, I'm still going to do it, but whatever. <gasps> yep! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I still didn't even hit him. Oh, oh wow, he still packs a punch. Kick him in the butt. Take that. One big strike. Come on. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I'm out of stamina. Wow, he does. Wow. I really didn't do much damage. Wow. Let's see. Come on. A little bit of combo. Oh, no, well, no, that's not going to work. Okay, I'm going to have to start using some rolls. Wow, yeah, I barely escaped that. He, he's overpowered. You know, I'll be right back, buddy. You know, just stay right there. Let me take that. I need some aloe. 
You know what, guys? I'll, re I'll be right back. It's time to use some of those gifts before I almost kill myself by jumping off that little tiny cliff. About this, the height of a sidewalk, for God's sakes. Okay, so this is what I've been talking about. This are some of the gifts. I have unlocked the Sandstorm Breathing Mask, but I did also get that from a recent Clop Avenger. Check this stuff out. Hyborian Slaver Waist Guard. Slaver Loincloth. Boots. Brazers. Brassiers? Brass... Oh, for God's sakes. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. The Slaver Helmet. The Ms. Morn uh, Shield. Let's just equip that. I like the Raver's Axe. Reavers? Reavers. Reaver's Axe. It's actually pretty awesome. Now, the only problem is I'm not a high enough level to carry this stuff. It's it's like 30 pounds each item, almost. 20 to 30 pounds for each item. It's ridiculous. I'm not a high enough level to carry this stuff. But check that out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And the helmet. I don't like the helmet because you don't really get to see the hair. The hair is taken away and I just look, at, look like a regular exile instead of Conan Arnold. And this is important, even though my health is apparently not so much, especially for my head. But anyways. And let's equip the axe as well. And the shield as well. Now, this does look familiar like it is from a Conan movie. I, I can't remember. It has been a long time since I've watched Conan the Destroyer or Conan the Barbarian. But yeah, I can barely move this stuff on. <laughs> I'm completely overweight. Alright, so I'm going to lighten my load here and drop that stuff off. I have unlocked these as well, but uh, thanks to Haven, he has uh, given me the basic necessities. Now, on uh, the previous season, this was one of the latest, one of the later updates, I should say. And I already had so many resources, I never bothered to craft them. I didn't really see the, the, the benefit of them separating and having separate tools. And, like I feel like I have to carry a whole slew of... Uh, of weapons and uh, uh, tools, really, to you know, harvest different types of items. But uh, I can understand why it's easier to get plant fiber with the steel sickle. But uh, besides that, yeah. So I didn't really need it at the time, so I never bothered. That's why I seemed a little bit clueless in episode one. So that's the reason. Okay. And now that we're past that, I got a fantastic eye of eye of the can bow and arrow as well. It's pretty freaking awesome. Once again, thank you very much. Not necessary, but uh, it's uh, it's very much appreciated. Now let's go take out this damn turtle. Enough talk, come on. All right, let's see what King Koopa has now. Now that I got all this stuff, yeah, come on, buddy. Wow, you're already ready for me. And <laughs> that's not a good start, right? I have a stamina, no problem, no problem. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, no problem. You get first strike. Let's see how well, how well the shield is. He has a huge... Wow! He has a huge amount of health. Well, I just unlocked my block. And block. Ooh, he's pissed. Get him from the back. No, I forgot. Uh, okay. Just take some aloe here. And I can't... Oh, you can't roll with a shield on. Hmm. Alright, all right, take advantage of that. And... Obviously, you can't kick when you're holding that too. Okay. A little bit of a learning clear. He's about to jump. Go for, go for it, buddy. There we go. And two. Yeah. You're done this time. Oh. I'm out of stamina. Yeah, come on, jump. You can do it. Let me put away my shield. No. Wow, that's ridiculous reach. Okay, a little bit more aloe. I want to get rid of this shield. So I can roll. Wow, that's not much of a roll. Oh, with the axe you can't roll. Okay. Okay. This is taking a little there's a little bit of a learning curve with this stuff. And shield back on. Two, and can I get a third? Yes. Okay, that's pretty good. That's a lot easier. There we go. And one more combination here. Goodbye. Whoa, one more combination for him too, and I'm done. 
Whoa, boy. Wow. There we go. For God's sakes. Good night. Holy smokes. You're tougher than you look. I actually look pretty tough anyways, but, uh... Yeah, you're not gonna have any inventory on you. Did I bring the... I didn't bring my axe. Uh, what am I gonna get with the pick? Did I bring my skinny knife? Yes, I did. Let's just get him. That's a lot of chitin. chitin. Oh, he gets the kite. Thank goodness. And that's what was gonna happen in this episode. <laughs> episode. In this episode. In this episode. <laughs> What I needed to get is thick hide and, uh, well, 49, not the greatest, but let's drop some of this as well. Don't need that. Uh, I needed to get some thick hide, so the purpose of this, not the purpose of this episode. One of the main goals of this episode is to get thick hide so that I can finally craft some of the, uh, lighter armor, light heavy. And I really, I gotta put away this shield because I can't roll. There we go. Oh, I can't, I can't roll with this armor. Or is some overweight? Let's see here. What can I get rid of? I don't have much stuff to get rid of. Okay, let's just drop some of this. Let's drop some more. Drop about twenty-five. There we go. Wow, you can't roll with this armor on. He just does the little <laughs> little skippity do. Well, that's pretty much useless. Let's see. How about a side skippity do? Uh, it's not much. It's not much faster. Yeah, it's faster just to run on the side. A little bit, a little bit of serpentine action. And I'm thirsty. Oh my god. Too much talk and no, no drink. It makes Conan almost dead. Okay, let's take some of these things to wrap. So. Alright, I'm not high enough uh, level in order to wear this stuff, so unfortunately, I gotta take it off. It weighs quite a bit. Here, it weighs... Okay, just the cuffs alone are almost 10 pounds. 33 pounds for this whole uh, torso. Wow, that's that's ridiculous. And that's 23 pounds, and the boots, almost 10 pounds. That's uh, quite a bit of weight. So unfortunately, I can't equip that comfortably and still be able to uh, really do anything. So we'll just put that away for now. Let's dump this stuff in there as well. I got feathers as well from a, a friendly neighbor. Okay, let's get this thick hide in here so I can make some thick leather. And I, I need wood chips. Oh, for God's sakes. I think I'm out. Yep, I'm out of wood chips. Okay, so let me take my sickle just in case I need it. And I have my pick. I just need the axe in case I need to chop down some trees. Let's equip that. And yeah, I'll be right back. I need to get some wood chips so I can craft this armor here, which I've been wearing. I feel like I've been wearing it for every season. It is the heavy tacit and the heavy pauldron. I've been wearing that all season. And uh, the only problem with this is, yeah, it takes regular leather, but... Oddly enough, I don't know why they did this. The heavy leggings, heavy legging lining, takes thick leather. So the underlining, I think it would be the other way around. The underlining takes thick leather, and then the outside takes a regular thin leather. Okay. Okay, yeah, same thing with everything else. The linings are thick leather. Okay, all right. I'm no um, seamstress. I don't think that's uh, normal, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with that. I can go with the medium tass at uh, the medium harness here instead and medium boots. Let's see the medium linings. What do they take? Do they take regular leather? Yeah, okay, we can at least craft that stuff. So let's see. Let's craft some of this medium stuff instead for now. Got tons of leather and tons of feathers as well. Thanks to a generous uh, neighbor. So I can craft lots of arrows as well. I'm still going to craft these snake arrows and upgrade that... Um, I was going to say church. <laughs> I'm going to upgrade that uh, temple upstairs so I can start pumping out some uh, poison arrows as well. All right, let's get this leather in there. Let's make, start crafting those linings. I have two of those and two of these just in case I run out. You know, you always get into trouble and end up losing your armor. That happens to some people, not to this guy. Not anymore. The more dying in, this, in these episodes. Yeah, as soon as I say that. 
<laughs> I don't want to waste my... Okay, you know what? I wasn't going to waste my time with you. But you're asking for it. Piece of cake. These guys are absolute piece of cake with this weapon now. There's extra damage being... Uh... Oh, oh, great. Is that a sandstorm starting? What is that flying above? I don't know what's flying above, but anyways. More reptile head and fangs. Yeah, it's a sandstorm. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you, Haven. I'm prepared. Look at that. Look at me. I'm crazy. I'm stabbing the sand. You'll not get me this time, sandstorm. No, not today. Who's that up there? Oh, is that a thrall fighting? You know what? I don't know who that who that is up there, but he's not doing it. I think that's just a, a regular exile or a regular thrall. Okay, you know what? I'll be right back once the sandstorm is done. I just need to get the thrall uh, training facility outside here up and running. And what I'm going to do is hit up that camp up there so I can upgrade my base. Oh, wow. That sandstorm is rolling in big time. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. This crock shouldn't be interesting to me. It's a freaking sandstorm. Buddy! Get your priority <laughs> priorities together. Your priorities together. God sakes. Stab you with a skinny knife. Wow. Skinny knife does a lot of damage. Check this out. Wow. Maybe because it's a it's a hardened steel skinny knife? Yeah, it's a hardened steel skinny knife. It did, it did a lot of damage. You know what? I'm going to upgrade all my stuff to hardened steel. Okay, so this is always fun. I was just getting some more resources to... I'm, I'm debating on expanding the base a little bit because I have to put uh, the Thrall training facility right next to my base. And I need more storage. So the Clop Avenger Tower... That's right, Clop Avenger Tower needs to be restarted again. And um, the only problem is, right now, ever since this update today, today's Friday, uh, the 27th, that latest update for bug fixes, and they said there was going to be other bugs. Yeah, this is what's happening. I'm virtually trapped. This is the second time this has happened. Uh, the first time I was able to get out of it, I climbed the wall, but I can't even reach a wall this time. It's like... Climb over this rock? Whoa, wow, wow, I'm free. Thank God. Oh, thank God. God, yeah, so avoid this area on the map. This is obviously close to the border of the new uh, jungle swamp area. Uh, it's, it hasn't been fun today, let me tell you that much. It's been uh, pretty buggy around this area. It has something to do with the latest update, because it wasn't like this before. Uh, so yeah, it's been good times. Good times. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put that troll... The, tro <laughs> the troll training facility right here, and uh, train some trolls so they can gather the stuff for me, so I don't have to freaking keep gathering it. Uh, yeah, no, it's not going to work that way. Okay, my compost is going uh, quite well. I have my bone meal in there, and compost is coming out, has been coming out. <laughs> has come out of it. Uh, let's get some more plant fiber in there so we can make some more compost. You need plant fiber, putrid meat, and bone meal. So I've used the bone meal, which crafted in the grinder. Let me show you. It's upstairs. For There's some of you who don't know. There's some of you that are new to this game, but I think the majority of you who... I don't know. Anyways, you can do it in this grinder here, in case you didn't know. Just put the bones in there, and uh, yeah, over time, it'll give you the bone meal, which you'll need for the compost. So let's just put this down here, and get this going, come on, before something else happens. Let's get that in there. Okay, there we go, and I should craft more, I believe, unless I need more putrid meat or something. Or plant fiber? I'm not sure. Anyways, we'll find out. And I'm out of food. I might start eating my own gruel that I've been making for uh, thralls, which I do not have any yet. So, get this thing down. Okay, we'll just expand this by one more block. Oh, come, uh, yeah, this is the problem with this location I picked. Because the thrall camp is up there, It's uh, I can't really build any clo anywhere closer to this wall here. It was probably not the best choice building here, but uh, yeah, this is what I got. 
Okay, somewhere off here. At least it'll give me a guidance so I can keep everything lined up. Okay, I got the two planters out here. And what I want to do is start growing some aloe as well. So uh, later on, I'll go and find some aloe plants and see if I can use a sickle on them to get the uh, seeds in order to grow it. Right now, I just got some plant fiber going. Uh, not really necessary because right here, well, right where the crock is, there's usually about three or four trees. And they get plenty of plant fiber. So that is not my issue here. So, okay, like I said, let's just get the training, uh, the training facility, the thrall, uh, training facility, the wheel of pain out, which I have, oh, I thought I misplaced it. Okay, there we go, there we go. So I can at least get some thralls on the workstations, at least, hello, right here. Are you kidding me? Come on, come on. It does not want to place. Okay, let's unequip it and equip it back. Wait till the X is gone. Invalid building placement. Hmm. Okay, since I am so close to the Thrall Camp, um, the only real place I, place I could place this guy is right here. Um, yeah, this is terrible. I've tried everything. I don't, just don't know if uh, it's an addition to the bugs I've been experiencing with the new update. Uh, not the, you know, just the actual update over the major update, the bug fix update. Um, so yeah, he's just going to have to stay here for now. Um, what I might do is make a bridge across and have a little section inside the water here, which is not really ideal, what I would like to do, but um, that just might happen. So I'll have to clean this up later. So, back to business. Let's get the first thrall in there so I can at least reduce the amount of time it takes and maybe I can yield uh, more of the, uh, what do you call it? Shaped wood. Always need shaped wood and amongst other things. So, without further ado, let's go and get some thralls. After I get my armor. Okay, I've crafted a couple choices here in armor. Now, I feel like I've been wearing these medium tassel and boots uh, season over season and medium harness. So, what I've also crafted is the Cambodian Shaman chest piece. Ooh, uh, this. Now, the advantage over the two, the Shaman chest piece, everything's pretty much the same. There will be 430 over the medium harness. The only difference between the two is that the bonus, you get bonus strength with the Shaman one, as opposed to the regular medium harness, you get bonus encumbrance. So, like I said, I've been wearing these, I feel like, every season. It is now season four. Let's try something a little different. Can Conan be be? <laughs> Conan be be? Can Conan be a Shaman? Look at that, Conan the Shaman. I'm not going to craft the masks. I don't, I don't like the headpieces. I really don't like that. Look at that, looking crazy. I think all I gotta do is diet and it's gonna look pretty pretty damn good. I feel like with this new update, it's the faces are a little bit more like at a distance, it's more pastel-y. But it has run a lot smoother and the combat is just a lot better. I really gotta make uh I really gotta craft a bed. I've been uh, using this a little uh, leaf fiber bed roll. Yeah, it's pretty sad. So hopefully by the next episode, I'll have a second floor and have this stuff sorted out. I need more chests to have this a little bit more organized right now. It's a bit of a mess. Inventory is all over the place. And it's, uh, it's yeah. It's showtime. Now, oh, for God's sakes. Not now. This axe is killer. Okay, you're just a fighter. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, saundered, I've been saundered. Get out of here. You don't sander the real Kaunin. Who's next? For the black hand. Just, uh, oh, Tarman. No, no, no. Okay, his name's Thrall. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, guys. I'm trapped. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy smokes. That was insane. <laughs> Holy smokes. Wow. I, I, I got to handle that a little bit better. That was ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna try to lure that guy out. I don't know, that was maybe some kind of bug. Yeah, yeah. Sick, good night, what do you have on you? 
Nope. Garbage. Keep it. That was just a flag flapping in the wind. I thought somebody's behind me. Come on. Who's next? Come on, get out here. Archer. Smear an archer. And I gotta watch my. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> this is not going as planned. Wow! Nice, buddy. Nice shot. Okay, let's just put the axe away and take a numbing wrap or a healing wrap, a band aid. Let's try this again. This is ridiculous. Come on. I think that was a weird bug where they had me pinned. That's that's my story. That was ridiculous. There's no way they'd be that organized. Yeah, nice try. Missed, Saka. Come on. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay, who's next? What do you have on you? No, garbage. Kick him! Boot in the face! Oh, boot in the... The boot is not working. There we go. There we go. Yeah, you have garbage on you as well. You weren't Tarman, were you? He picked the wrong camp, mate. Did I pick the wrong camp? He picked the wrong guy. Whoa, Baby, ouch. Oh, thick as thieves. What's thick as... No! Oh my god. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Okay. Let's go back in there and get get her stuff back. Oh, this is crazy. That's it. No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more Mr. Nice Clap Accounting. Whatever you want to call it. Just get my stuff back. Come on. This is bullshit. Okay, get the stuff back and take these guys out. These guys are still knocked out. Oh, I forgot my uh, my scepter thing to get their hearts for my uh, altar of set. Where's my body? Is that my body? Yep, it sure is. Take all. Get out of here before they get lucky again. That's definitely luck that they had on their side. That's all I'm saying. Let's get suited up here. Get that in there. Sure. And those two as well. Get that, that. Okay. Let's regenerate a little bit here. I don't know why I'm whispering. There we go. That'll do it. I should probably really use a shield. Just a regular archer. Just try to archers. They really changed the accuracy on the archery as well. Before it didn't make a difference if you upgraded it or not, but now it does. Understandably. Okay, let's get this ritual knife out here. See if this works. I know there's been a lot of bugs lately. Yeah. No, I got human heart. Good. More human heart. Good. Where else? Where else? Where else? Oh, this isn't my own body. Human heart. <laughs> Sorry, Conan. Would it work on my own body? No. Come on, let me see. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> wow. Did I get you already? No, I didn't. Good. Oh, now I got tons of human flesh on me. Fantastic. I think everybody's gone now. Nope. Is that you, Tarman? No, you're just a fighter. You're just a Sumerian fighter? I did it. Don't tell me I killed him. No, not again! Not, ag not again! Holy smokes! Let's eat some food here and... Bow! No, not this time. Nobody of use here. Gaseous orb. I don't think this works. I don't know why I'm taking bones. Get out. I'm not allowed to place it. Okay, well, I'll just throw it out then if I can't place it back inside there. No problem. Let's 
put that there. Toss that out. This is... This is... Okay, just bear with me. Bear with me. Just as me cutlass was growing rusty. Oh, just as your cutlass was going rusty, was it? Well, now you have a chance to use your cutlass. Take this gaseous orb I just took from your case. Or not, because it's not getting... It's not leaving my hand. Because I'm done with it. Okay, that's that explains it. Good night. No, okay, let's try it. I'll lock on. There we go. And take your heart from your from your butt cheeks. Look at that, they took your heart from your butt cheeks. It's fantastic. Get out of here. I don't need that. Get out of there. Thank you. No more body parts in here. I don't think you can use them. Maybe you can use them in the compost. Maybe that's something. Maybe that's a thing. I don't know. Okay, this camp is cleared out, and there should be another one nearby. Okay, you know what? I managed to find a Nordheimer dancer, <laughs> dancer level two, and she's kind of cute. So you know what? I'm gonna keep her. Let's capture her, nice and quick. I don't know if the heavy blow is gonna end up killing her. Wow, this is. Oh, I thought this was going to take a long time. Okay, that was f weird. Oh, I see the uh, unconscious meter is above the actual health meter. That's what it is. Oh, will she stand back up? It looks like the, the unconscious meter is going back up. Hmm. And that's a thing. There we go. Let's go. Come on, just got to go down. I wonder if she'll be able to slide down the rocks as I slide. Let's see. Nope. Sure didn't. <laughs> Crap. Uh, I gotta go back up there and get her. Okay, just gotta run through this camp. Excuse me. Oh man, uh, there's no, there's no easy way getting down here without getting hurt. I mean, this is it. Okay, not too bad. Look at that, pro. Just a pro at this. Look at that. Wait, what the heck is why is why would you be cheating? Ooh, that looks bad. <laughs> She's taking quite a tumble. Whoop. Okay. I'm lost now. Oh no, I'm out of stamina. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, let's just get back. Let's just get back to base here. There we go. Got my first thrall just a dancer, but that's fine. That's fine. And you always gotta remember to press play. That was my problem before in the past. I'd always forget to press that. Alright, now this is going to be the temporary location of this Wheel of Pain, but that's fine. I'll have to make a few adjustments, and that will be in the next episode. And I may be looking forward to taking on one of the big bosses, and that will be next time. Okay, Craft 77 Antidotes, there we go. And that will get our... our schnizzle... Upgraded it in no time. Our altar is what I meant to say. So, okay, I think that's going to be pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to have to collect some more resources just to expand this base. And I'm going to craft the larger Wheel of Pain, which I have unlocked. It's going to take a bit of resources here. I think I'm going to get some more iron ore. Where are you? Okay, the rest is not bad. I just need more iron reinforcement, which takes quite a bit of time. So I need to get a smelter thrall in there ASAP. To speed up the process. So, till next time, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye. Okay, guys. I know I said uh, that's it for this episode, but you know what? I wasn't gonna do this, but I couldn't help myself after seeing this monstrosity next door, uh, over the next block, really, a couple blocks, uh, not that far, really, away. So, uh, yeah. Here we go. I think somebody's got to warn him. This is a uh, Clop Avenger territory and uh, warning, building code in effect, large bases may be subject to fines or possibility of demolition. You have been warned. Hi, <laughs> you have been warned. I'm not the bad guy. I'm just here enforcing the building code requirements. Hi, <laughs> it can't be much larger than what you got there. It just any larger. Well, the god may have to be summoned, and that's uh, that's going to be it. Okay, goodbye. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.